Huh? Who? Hello? Yep. Wait, what do you what do you mean the best duck hunt in the world was in this region? What are you talking about? She she's got that duck hunt, that best duck hunt in the world, and more deep pockets, so the duck hunt continues to be the baby just, keem tag. Yeah, just <laughs> I'm sorry, I just like I saw it. It, it, it like called out to me. Uh, for the record, uh, Fawn was able to take it over Beast 2-0 to get into this uh, top eight winner semifinals, while Zamba overtook Web JP as well 2-0. To set up the match, we have four y'all right here. And starting off uh, as you would expect thus far, like Zamba can start off hot and as Zamba does, usually tries to play the game quick, but as soon as Fawn is able to get right Oh away, my god! Oh, Lordy, Rob is big. Oh, Lordy. Rob, Rob is, is big. Rob is big. You know, like you start off strong, but if Duck Hunt is able to get some of their oh, stuff no. going, then, uh, you know, you're able to either both pull full combos or eat your own can. Yeah. Tail two coins. <laughs> That's what happens. You're playing a little two overzealous there. Zamba, full awareness there, catching that can immediately. Comes back down with the forward air. Double jump with the forward air. Oh, the, uh, the Zomb bear. No way to. Unstress that out, man. He just finds that so unique, so clean. The man, the myth, the robot. Yeah. He, he, just, he just does it, man. He just puts stuff together so well. He this. makes the easy moves to look so easy. I would <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? Like, <laughs> the, prob the problem with Zamba isn't, like, his, his combo game is good. His neutral is amazing. But what continuously keeps this kid able to turn, uh, turn dust into diamonds is his advantage state. Like, he is an advantage state player with all of his characters, but you also may just be gone here, unable to convert into the smash attack that they were prior, but Vaughn finding up airs, but the percentage of getting too extreme, and um, Zomba's large hitboxes and general presence. Oh, oh my god! Very gosh. nice spacing on that can there. Just trying to control the stage as much as possible and get everything going. That forward tilt, not quite yet. So let's reset this camp position, Momo, and let's see what Fawn has in store for us. Like, this is the problem with, like, set play sort of kind of characters in this game. It's just like, yeah, Fawn is an insanely smart player. Right? You've got these, the gun setups, you've got the can, they've got the frisbee, right? But then Zamba comes in here, and he's like, okay, but what if I just nair? Or what if I literally just took my entire rotor engine and just threw a fork in your system? Then what? I mean, you still got that frame one can, but the advantage is Duck Hunt, the main thing this character really struggles, at least what I'm seeing, right, is getting out of this advantage state, like, Hang on to this high percentage. Like, one, yeah, you can take a couple hits from the can, but like now it's like you don't have your frame one option anymore. You could just yeah. you have to hold that. You have to keep stay, keep this robot away. You have to hold on for life, your life. Oh my god. Yeah, we've seen what uh, we've seen what Fawn can oh, do normally, gonna... but that right there. I feel like that's like a microcosm of how Zomba wants to play both this and every matchup, uh, which is tempo. He wants to control tempo. He wants to get in your face and initiate an interaction and control every part of it to the point where he's able to then understand and guess mm -hmm. or read or react or what have you to the following defensive option that's coming in. So like, oh, Fawn has a little bit of space. Gunmen can both coming out at once to, to establish that space. Yeah. But the problem with, gun, uh, with uh, Gunman is that he's slow. And the problem with Can is that it's frame one, but it moves kind of sluggishly. And the problem with Clay Pigeon is that it's slow on both ends. So if everything takes time, Zamba's not going to give it to you. <laughs> yeah, it's like, assuming you, it, like, fighting Fawn is like, it's like, it's like fighting Batman. Like, if you give this guy prep time, then obviously she's going to come in, she's going to go on a tear away, but Zamba's like, you, you get absolutely no time to prep, bro. Oh, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to... Push buttons, you've already taken 70%. That's an insane tech. And it could have been more. Like, Zamba didn't need to throw out that fair. Duck Hunt did not have the range to make it back, but trying to ensure the stock, unfortunately, giving Zamba, uh, getting, eating Zamba basically at 61% for that mistake and climbing the can of betraying its owner, but still in solid works here. Oh, One might... more, not Ooh. able to get it. Good DI up away, up and in from Zamba to avoid that uh, that string or that combo. Zamba even. does not want to go like the last game, avoiding the S smash combo there. But the gunman, still able to do it. But the can is going to do it. Amazing setup from at the ledge from Fawn, but Zamba looking to close up the stock here, trying to find that nair or maybe an up. Oh, the up smash on the platform, big punish from Fawn. But now you're under the ledge against Duck Hunt. We remember that happened the last time. He got put under the ledge against Duncan, man. Those Duck Hunt down airs are absolutely ridiculous. They are quite strong. Mm. Missing the tech there again. Fawn has uh, missed a couple of those it, it, during this game. Got to whelm herself before getting overwhelmed with some of these up airs and zomp. Wow, that trade was huge for Fawn. Able to get multiple fares out of that. 
and keeping herself in control of this game thus far. Though Zamba comes in with an air. Oh. Not the gunman took one. Took one for the team there. <laughs> Get down, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. When the president's dog matters more than your life. <laughs> gotta keep uh -oh. him down. Uh -oh. Destroy the robot. Gotta end the robots. Is this a plot, plot of the last Remainder movie? It's definitely the plot of 2001 Space Odyssey. <laughs> God. You couldn't help yourself, huh? Uh, look, man. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Nice use that can there. Get Zombo away from that ledge. <laughs> Jero is still in hand. Okay, there we go. Laser's coming out there, too. Using that clay pigeon to keep Zombo away. Stop his approach. Like, yo, I don't even want to push the bash, but I'm trying to be this bright, brick wall, bro. Stop that. Mm. Breathe. Take a second. Think about what you're doing. Yeah, he's put he's put the stop hand up and he's like, all right. Whoa, that nair was so huge to not, to not only negate the gyro toss, but also find the way down. Percent's getting extreme here. Oh, oh not no. quite yet. Missing the tipper on the duck bill. Instead, you just gotta set up another trap and wait for Can or one of these uppers to close the stock. Mm -hmm. Can finally will do it at 199. Sometimes it takes a while, but Vaughn's still in control of this game. Holding on. Finally, Vaughn still sitting here in that advantage. The up throw, I don't think it's going to do just yet. Yeah, no, definitely not. not Vaughn hanging on, very, doing a very good job. The Zamba chasing all the way out there with a forward air and the patience from Fawn. That's not going to do just now. You've got almost max rage in this duck hunt. Zamba's got to be careful because the clay pigeons are coming out of the ledge once again. Side beam to up air to up air 52%. Oh my gosh. Down slash is going to do, but now you've got so much extra credit on you. And Fawn is just looking to land here with the, uh, a can, a gunman, and just about anything she can imagine. Yeah, I guess you're not really too much too worried about this much damage because not only can you deal it back in spades if you're Zamba, but the fact that uh, Fawn has routinely been closing out stocks at 160 plus means you've got 100% to work with. While Rob has been known to evaporate one, two, uh -oh. three, missing one. the fourth was <laughs> really looking for the stock here off of something like an up smash instead of taking the up airs though. Plenty of damage, but no stock means Zamba is well in control of this game. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Awkward to... trade, but he misses the double jump oh. and misses the timing there. Zamba forfeiting a couple of uppers in that interaction and oh. dies for it. Oh, my gosh. Zamba flubbing the up tilt into up air and losing the game for it. Fawn, by the skin of her teeth, takes game number two. That's Let's an amazing see... tipper back air. Let's see this replay again. Did the up tilt con collide with something like the gunman or the or the gyro of some? No, that was oh. a fresh up tilt. He just missed the double jump. Like, and I'm not with good DI. I don't believe it takes the stock, but it gets close. There's there's no excuse. Uh, uh, and that replay he controlled himself. That's it. Yeah, it's okay. you, it happened. You, you played yourself. Like, come on, man. It's okay. <laughs> you, you still got. You still got two more games at, at, at minimum. Great win winners. We're in top uh, best of five territory in this winner's top um, eight. Best of five, I believe, is only finals because, you know, hey, we, you know, it's it's Monday night. <laughs> but, oh, my fault, my fault. but I'd be surprised. I, I'm willing to be surprised. We at, our, at the very least, game three is an important game to take either way. Oh, yeah. Just like every game. But having counter pick availability is, uh, needless to say, nice, especially for a set play character like Duck Hunt. Oh, I feel too. Like I love this character, man. Like the way that Fawn has these insane combos for either like when she's right in your face or she's the other side of the stage. So I almost got to be careful. Like no matter where he is, like he's coming back here with this nice air dodge to get away from that, but still the gyro is coming out. Zamba is like trying to just—he literally just like he doesn't really have the answer to this. Instead of just like, I want to keep holding forward so you can't think. I'm tired of you doing things. Stop pressing buttons. Wow, oh. and she went so deep that fair. I, I mean, if you tech that, you live and you get a ledge trap going, but instead, Zamba's the one allowed to snowball here. Up tilts, reading air dodges, and covering oh. all of that space to the tune of 55%. That's so unfortunate. There we go. Oh, now we'll find that sweet spot, though. 124%. Fawn looking to close the stock out on Zamba. Huge parry on the clay pigeon. We haven't seen that much. Oh, the gunman's coming out, though. Fawn is trying to set up here, but, I mean, what's the point of setting up? You're already a whole stock down. You need to take the stock yesterday. Up to the up air coming out, and that's going to do us some unfortunate DI. Because unfortunate that we're in an unfortunate angle. Regardless, Zamba's now up three stocks to one. Yeah, with, as with Rage on top of that, now Zamba gets to start rolling and start rocking with, with as much of this Rage as he can survive with. Again, the survivability has been really there for Zamba, and the fact that Duck Hunt doesn't always work. Really not helping uh, Fawn's case 
to try and make it back into this game. That's your that's your immortal John right there. You know, Duck Hunt just didn't work in that last game. <laughs> yeah, that's just... gonna go the job done though. You're still you're on your down two stocks. I mean you've got the clay pitching combos. Bond's still keeping a very level head here. But I mean, how much longer can you really like keep up the charade? Like you have that down throw into back air, but Zamba's really just like waiting for his opportunity to find a nair into a cheeky side air and up air or, or something, you know? Just Rob closing out the game with Rob things. Yeah, it's a I don't know, it's precarious. One the fun thing about set play characters is that they theoretically can just control the game for minutes at a time. But Rob's generic tools can make it really difficult. You get oh, a forward oh, smash here. That's not going to work oh, there. But not going for the turnaround up smash on the potential, uh, on the air dodge in, just getting the guaranteed damage. But that, with good DI, isn't going to be a stock. Oh. Very, very close for Fawn here, maneuvering around that dash grab. Let's see if she can close out the, the stock can? here. With the can? Oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, that can be coming. <laughs> like, get back, you? get back here. <laughs> get down from there. <laughs> Like Sending aerial support. <laughs> yeah, Predator missile inbound. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Oh, prioritizing can there instead. And oh, wow. Robobeam eating all of that setup and destroying everything that Fawn had. Uh, oh, uh, oh, no. Ability. Uh oh. Oh, my down. God. Oh, my gosh. Literally, just kinda like seeing the Duck and the Downer come out and just like, no. No. Stop that. Yeah, the. the I don't know, it's, it's little mechanics, and it's not a little mechanic because it just Rob's up special, but the fact that there are characters, and Rob is one of them, that just very rarely go into free fall. Yeah. Means that all of this offstage game that they want to play, going so deep, having gyro, having all of this, uh, like a full tank of fuel, means that trying to get reversals that are traditionally available for characters that burn resources, mm -hmm. That resource is not, it's not a one and done. It's not a yes or no. Rob's fuel pack is a, it's a meter. Yeah. <laughs> and he, it's a very generous meter at that. Oh, yeah. So, Sometimes I forget it's a meter because like, it lasts for so long. Really and you does. see the black smoke come out. You're like, oh, now it's my time. And he's already on the ledge. Oh, yeah, he's, he's there. A, he's already reclaimed stage. He's already coming back in with an air. And you're just like, yeah, my chances are just a memory of the past. That's just how it is, man. Yeah, but you got to look towards the future because, hey, that was an excellent set from Fawn, uh, who has been, uh, she's been on a tear throughout multiple uh, events throughout the week. I mean, the, Z the Xenos, the Fusions, yeah. the et cetera, et cetera, the waypoints that happen all over. And she's been taking names from many, many players, both in this bracket and otherwise. Zombo just happens to be one of the best players in the world. So, you know, going 2-1 isn't that bad. And I'm absolutely certain that she will make a splash in top or uh, in top eight loser side as we get on through this bracket. Yeah, we still keep